Hi guys, it's Simmer Dad. Welcome to part 25 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. In the last episode, Mia spent a little bit time getting to know Aaron Archer better and their relationship is really, really good right now. Also, Ty um, and Ava's relationship has increased quite a bit as well. And Ty has found himself madly in love with this girl. And there go Carson and April. And it also came to light um, in the last episode that Carson and April did have a relationship together. And Carson did ask April to be his girlfriend. And I'm just kind of, kind of following them a little bit. Because I don't know really what they're up to, what they're doing. Um, are you kidding me? Are they going to do what I think they're going to do? Okay, well, it seems that Carson and April uh, <laughs> are uh, really, really, really like each other. Because it looks like they are messing around underneath the covers in Mia's bed. Which is completely fine by me. Who am I to judge? If that's what they want to do, then that's what they can do. In all actuality, I believe it is the autonomy mod that has caused that interaction. And Ty is talking with um, Carissa Cruz right now, and I do believe that Carissa saw Ty and Ava Caballero flirting in the last episode, and I believe that um, Carissa has been acting quite sad about it, and you notice they no longer have any type of romantic relationship together um, because Ty is committed to Ava he did ask Ava to be his girlfriend and he is not the type of guy at all whatsoever to ask one girl to be his girlfriend and then continue a romantic relationship with another girl that's just not something that he would ever do so he is going to go ahead um, and tell Carissa that he did ask Ava to be his girlfriend so they're going to have a deep conversation and he is going to let her know that. And let's see if he has the choice to try to cheer her up. Um, I don't see it. Yes, he does. He's also going to try to cheer her up. But he is going to tell her that, yes, he is in a committed relationship with Ava Caballero. And it looks like he was talking about the chemistry between himself and Ava. And now he is trying to cheer her up. And she's saying, you know, that she's sorry that it did not work out between the two of them. And Ty's saying, you know, they are much better off as friends. And he does want to be really good friends with her. And I don't know where Ava went. Um, and I don't know where Mia went. But let's find Mia. There's Miss Mia, and it looks like Mia is going to watch a funny video. And she does still want to ask Aaron to be her boyfriend, and she wants to do some extra credit homework, so we will go ahead and let her do that. But it looks like she's going to go up and talk with Carson and watch a funny video with him. And is Carson still in the bedroom with... Oh. <laughs> well, it looks as though... Um, April has decided to sleep in Mia's bed. And there's not really anything I can do about that at this point because I do not want to play April. But maybe we can wake her up. Let's see if we can wake her up and say, um, you know, April, this is my bed. If you want to sleep, why don't you go ahead and get in your bed? And Mia's going to make sure that she changes these sheets after what happened between... Mr. Carson and April Bennett. And Mia still does not like April at all. That relationship is just terrible. Um, so Mia is quite glad that April is with Carson and not with her brother. But she's just going to go ahead. She's going to tell her a joke really quick. Maybe that will help their relationship just a little bit. If April, you know responds well to the joke and we'll just see april is still in a flirty mood and i don't think that joke went over at all so mia's just not even going to try and let's just find out what everyone else is doing it looks like everyone 
has headed out to the horseshoe pit. Nahara. Together. <laughs> Nahara. No. And it looks like she's still chatting with April, but she's going to come downstairs and chat with um, Aaron a little bit. And they're going to become best friends, I think. Because they, their relationship is really, really good. So she's going to quit chatting with April. And I don't know where Ty is going. Let's see what Ty is doing. Ty is going to go ahead and dance. And who are you talking to? He's on the phone with someone. Dean is, which is fine. And I wonder if he can dance with... Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to turn that off. We'll turn it on. He can listen to... Let's just listen to alternatives. He's going to do that. And I don't know if he can... Let's see if he can dance, and then perhaps he can call Ava over to dance with him. Mia Stone and Aaron are becoming best friends forever. So that's good. And because they have become such good friends, and because Mia wants to ask Aaron to be her boyfriend, I think that's what she's going to go ahead and do. She's going to go ahead and ask Aaron if he would like to be her boyfriend, and we will see what he says. And he has said yes. Aaron has become Mia Stone's boyfriend. And I know that um, Dean is probably not going to take this news well, but Mia is going to go ahead... Um, and tell him she's going to go ahead and have a deep conversation with him. She's going to let him know that she and Aaron are now a couple. And let's see if she can try to cheer him up. I guess maybe he's not sad anymore. She's going to give relationship advice. And by that, she's going to tell Dean that the two of them are really good friends, but that it never would have worked out for them to be more than friends. That um, she does want to continue to be friends with him, however. And let's just see how this goes. They're having an abhorrent she conversation. So, um, he is not taking this news well at all whatsoever. He really does not like this at all. And, you know, this has caused her to feel really embarrassed. She's having a very awkward conversation at the moment. And there's really not anything that Ava can do to make things better with Dean. So she's just going to leave it like it is. And if you notice something weird about me today, I do have quite a severe sore throat today. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so if I sound a little bit strange today, that is the reason, and I hope you all understand. Um, let's see, what is oh, Ty up to at the moment? <laughs> Ty is feeling very tense. He's chatting with April, and um, maybe April will not try to make any kind of advance advances with him. He's also... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was that? Evidently, Dean just asked Ava Caballero if she was single because Ava has said, I'm seeing someone. So, um, yeah, I don't know how Ty <laughs> will feel about the fact that Dean is trying to hit on his girlfriend, but um, since he's not out there to see it, I guess it will be okay. But Ty is going to go ahead. He's having a steamy exchange with April, which is not good. April's feeling very flirty. Ty's going to try to dial it down a little bit. He's going to try to, um, he's going to tell her about himself and Ava and let her know that he and Ava are boyfriend and girlfriend now. He is in a committed relationship. Then he's going to joke with her and try to get her out of this flirty mood that she's in. Because the last thing in the world he wants is for April to, um, come on to him, flirt with him, or whatever, 
and mess up his relationship with Ava. He does not want that in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> and you can see he does not feel any romantic relationship, any romantic feelings for her anymore. And it looks like he can't even be funny with her, but he's going to try once again so that he can try to get her out of her flirty mood. He's going to go ahead and tell her an inside joke. Um, and she is still feeling flirty, so he is just going to go ahead and keep trying to um, do funny things and try to... They're having an amorous exchange. This is not working, so he's just going to completely quit talking to her. And he's going to go over here and talk to Aaron and see how things are going with Aaron. And he also wants to know how things are between Aaron and his little sister, Mia. He wants to make sure that um, Aaron does not try to go too far with his little sister. He wants to make sure to protect his little sister. And he has he has learned that Aaron is romantic. And he's not really sure how he feels about that. Um, he would really actually rather Aaron have a different trait other than the romantic trait because he's worried that the relationship between Aaron and his sister might progress too fast and he really does not want that at all and here comes Carson and Dean and let's just see what's going on between them and I guess that was a friendly hug let's just find out <clears throat> what's going to happen between April and Carson are they going to go back up into Mia's bedroom again I don't know if they are or not um, but the two of them are obviously quite smitten with each other. <laughs> and April appears to still be in that flirty mood. And I don't know about Carson. It looks like Carson is cleaning up the dishes, which is awfully nice of him to do that for us. And it looks like Dean is working out on the treadmill. Yes, he is. So let's just go ahead and check in with Mia. Oh, and Ava is also working out, which is good. Let's check in with Mia. Uh, Mia wants to make out with Erin. We'll go ahead and pin that. Is she doing extra credit homework? She is doing her extra credit homework. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And I have no idea why she cannot stand April, why they cannot stand each other. But I don't really know that Mia even wants to improve that relationship. I really don't think that she does. We're going to let her speed through her homework and we'll see how her needs are doing. Her needs look fine. And Ty's needs also look fine, which is good. And Ty is feeling very playful. He wants to woohoo with Ava again. And he wants to do an impression for someone. So we'll go ahead and let him do that impression. Um, who would be good for him to do an impression with? He's going to go ahead and do an impression with Aaron. Because Aaron seems to be the only one who's not really doing anything right now. So he will go ahead and do that. And see how that goes over. It looks like that he has a really good relationship with Aaron, which is really good. And so he's going to go ahead and do that. And then he's going to go ahead and do his extra credit homework as well. And let's hop over here to Mia. She's still doing her homework. And it would probably be fun for the whole gang to go out and do something. Um, I don't think there are any bars in this town. I'm pretty sure that there's not. But what they could do, I'm wondering if I put a bar in over at that campground. Let's just send everyone over. Let's see if all, all, everyone can go over to this um, Campfire National Park and see what's going on over there. Uh, we'll send Mia and Ty. You know what? Let's not. Let's just send the four of them. Let's send Mia, Aaron, Ty, and Ava. How's that? We'll just do that um, and let them just get away from the house for a little while and have some alone time, just the four of them, 
just two couples um, sharing a little time together getting to know each other and I don't know really what the relationship is like between Ava Caballero and Aaron um, I'm hoping that it's a good relationship <laughs> and Ava is still dressed in her workout attire and let's just see what all we can do here I don't know if there's a bar here and even if we did put a bar in I don't really think a bartender um, would come and who is this oh you know who this is this is Justina Hanks this is Carson's sister so we need to get to know her because we've never even met her yet and let's see if Ty knows her I don't know if Ty's met her yet either he has not he's going to give her a cheerful introduction and there's just going to get to know her and I'm wondering whether or not I should put a bar on this lot there's not really any room inside to put a bar um, and like I said if I did put a bar in more than likely no bartender would show up to man the bar because this is set as a national park and not as a bar and who is this person stomping in here <laughs> this is someone named Liam Bruce and he is just not in a very good mood at all and it looks like Aaron and Ava are out enjoying this fire. Ty's going to come out and tell them a group story. He's going to tell them an adventure story. And he's going to tell it to Mia, Aaron, Ava, and Justina as well. And see how this goes. Why are you feeling embarrassed? Um, he's having an awkward encounter for some reason. Ooh, read bow. I wonder if the awkward encounter was with Justina. I don't know. Maybe their relationship um, is not so good. Maybe she, her first impression of Ty was not a very good one. Um, it looks like they're okay, so I don't know. I don't know what caused the awkward relationship or awkward moment to show up, but it looks like it's gone now. It looks like he is now being playful. Is he telling the story? He is going to tell this adventure story, and we'll see how all this goes over. Also, um, I don't know whether or not Ty has the fishing skill. So we're going to also, after he tells this story, we're going to have Ty and Mia both go fishing. And Mia is feeling very, very focused. And our vacation is almost up, guys. It is Sunday afternoon. And tonight, everyone will be going back home. Everyone has school tomorrow. Um, and I don't think they got their extra credit homework done. I think I interrupted them both on that. But that is okay. They can do that tonight when they go home. But it looks like everyone is enjoying Ty's um, story. So that is good news. And I'm really glad that Ty and Aaron have become friends because they do need to have a really good relationship together, especially if Mia decides that she wants to have a long-term relationship with Aaron. And let's just see how Mia's relationship is with Ava Caballero. And it's okay, um, but not that great. So instead of having Ava go fishing, I mean... Mia go fishing. She's going to work on her relationship with Ava just a little bit. She's going to discuss interests with her. She's going to brighten her day. What else did she do? Um, she's going to discuss the latest book that she's read. She's going to discuss authors with her. Uh, she has learned that Ava is romantic and cheerful, so that is good. She's going to be funny with her and tell a joke about monkeys. She also might want to do an impression and also tell her a knock-knock joke. Something to just try to get their relationship to a higher level, um, especially since she knows that her brother is very serious about Ava. This person is Alexandria Woodward, and she's an adult, so we don't really want to get to know her. 
Uh, but Mia does need a best friend, and wouldn't it be wonderful if Mia and Ava could become best friends? It would also be really nice if Ava could become really good friends with Justina Hanks. And by seeing Justina do these sit-ups, I'm assuming that Justina is probably a very active sim. She's going to discuss interests with Justina when she finishes talking with Ava and just see if she can get to know her a little bit better. Let's see if, yes, get to know is there. Um, she's going to do that. And then I think what she's going to do is she's going to ask Ava if Ava wants to cloud gaze with her. And this should build up her relationship with Ava quite a bit better. So let's just go ahead and kind of speed through this just a little bit and see how this all works out. And uh, Mia has learned that Justina is good. Well, that's really good because you do want your friends to have the good trait. So that is good. And it looks like they like each other pretty well. And since the action failed to cloud gaze with um, Ava, then Mia's just going to go ahead and ask Justina if she would like to cloud gaze and see how that works. Because I, um, I have noticed that the cloud gazing interaction does build up a relationship fairly quickly. So she's going to go ahead and ask Ava to do uh, the same thing. Is Ava going to join us or she's just going to stand here and wait? I guess she'll stand here and wait. Ty caught a minnow. That's good. Really glad for that. <laughs> but they are cloud gazing and their relationship is doing pretty good and Justina is feeling energized. However, this is just an acquaintance relationship. It's just average. And it looks like Mia is getting hungry. And let's just see um, what her relationship is with Ava Cavaliero. And it says they are friends. So she's going to go ahead and end the cloud gazing with Justina and see if Ava wants to cloud gaze. And after that, uh, the gang is probably going to go home so that they can have something to eat. And I'm thinking that Mia is going to grill out on the grill for her friends. So let's just speed through this a little bit. Um, Ava is also feeling energized. Who is this person? Let's just see if this is someone we need to get to know. This is Janet Robinson, and for some reason, Mia does not like her either, which is okay. That is perfectly fine. Uh, Mia is a very particular sim, and she's very picky about who she lets get close to her, which says a lot about Ava and Aaron. It says that they both have very good personalities, and they are both a very high character in the fact that Mia has let both of them get quite close to her, and she has built quite a good relationship with both of these Sims. So they are just going to travel home now. Mia is going to grill out on the grill. Maybe she'll make hamburgers, something like that. Um, and guess what? <laughs> We're gonna have to bring everyone else here because I forgot to tell her to travel with them. So we're just going to bring everyone here. There we go. And Mia is hungry, and let's find the grill. I'm pretty sure there's a grill back here. There is a grill. So Mia's going to grill for everyone. She's feeling very, very playful. What is this? She wants to tell a joke. We'll probably let her do that. She's going to go ahead. She could grill a baked potato. She could grill franks and beans. We all know what happens when you eat franks and beans, and it's not very pleasant. So she's going to go ahead and grill hamburgers for the group. And I'm not sure what her cooking skill level is. Let's just find out. Um, she has a cooking skill level of level two, so that is good. And this should improve her cooking skill. And here goes April and Carson again. And it looks like they're following each other. For a minute there, I thought they were heading, well, I thought they were heading upstairs to the bedroom there for a second and it looks like they are just hugging each other you know we're gonna have to keep our eyes on these two because there's no telling 
what the two of them might do. Um, but Carson seems to be totally and completely head over heels for April. And I think April probably feels the same way about him. And it looks like Aaron and Ava did not want to wait for Mia's hamburgers to get finished. Oh no, what's she doing? It looked like she was putting lighter fluid on the hamburgers themselves rather than the grill. But anyway, as I was saying, um, Carson, was Carson, no, I was trying to say that Aaron and Ava did not want to wait for Mia's hamburgers. So it looks like Ava is eating fish tacos and it looks like Aaron is eating eggs and toast and that is quite all right with Mia. Uh, they were just too hungry to wait and let's see if she can call to meal. She is going to call everyone else to the meal because she is hungry. She also needs to go to the bathroom. And let's see, Ty is hungry as well. So that is good. So everyone is hungry. And it looks like Mia is going to go sit next to her boyfriend um, and spend a little time with him. They're going to have a meal together, which is so cute. I'm so glad that she's decided to come in here. However, <laughs> Aaron has decided to take this particular moment and clean up the dishes. And let's see, it looks like possibly, I don't know. It looks like he's going to the bathroom to clean those dishes. And it looks like Ava, what's she doing? It looks like Ava's going into the gym, maybe to have a nice workout. Oh, she's going to work out on the punching bag, which is, which is good. Ty is sitting with April. Oh, Moosh Bepso. And they are eating. Hey, Wes. He's going Chubby to go Sturka. ahead um, and he's going to put away these hamburgers before they spoil. And it looks like Ava, I mean not Ava, it looks like April is being a sweetheart and cleaning up the dishes. We're going to go ahead and let uh, Mia go to the bathroom. What are you wearing? Oh, that is Chris Cruz. And I guess that's must be Carissa Cruz's athletic wear. Maybe she's going jogging. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like she's going out to talk to Aaron, perhaps. Or she's waiting to play horseshoes. So let's just see and make sure that Ty goes to the bathroom and takes care of that. And let's go see what Mia's up to now. And there's poor Dean Bennett. And their relationship is really terrible <laughs> still. Um, in the romance department, he just really, really feels terrible about her. Um, I wish there was some way that we could fix that. However, I don't see a way of doing so without causing them to become romantically involved again. And Mia just really does not want him having romantic feelings for her at all whatsoever. So she's not going to do anything that would encourage anything of that nature. And it looks like she really enjoyed that um, story that her brother told at the campground. And what does she need to do now? Um, let's see. Did she finish her homework? Oh, this is not her homework. She needs to put this away because I don't believe she owns that book. And it looks like she is finished with her homework. And let's see if Ty finished his homework. There's Ty's minnow that he caught. And we might let him mount that when we get home. Did Ty, he's going to go ahead and work on his extra credit homework. And get that done. And it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Which means that the vacation will be ending in just a couple of hours. I believe they got here probably about 10 p.m which means that their vacation will be ending at 10 p.m., which um, if that does not happen before I end this episode, then in the next part, we will start with them back at home. And let's just see, uh, let's watch what's going on over here at the horseshoe pit. What is Mia doing? She's going to come over and she's going to Talk to her boyfriend, Aaron. 
she's going to be a little bit romantic with her, with him, excuse me, and compliment his appearance and tell him how wonderful she thinks that he looks. And she's going to tell him how glad she is that they are now a couple. And she might even, oh, look at those bugs. She might even give him a kiss while she's over here. First of all, she will embrace him. And next, she is going to make a flirtatious joke. And they are feeling, Aaron is feeling very energized. And he, he blew her a kiss. She is now going to give him a real kiss. <laughs> she really likes this guy. And she's thinking that, you know, maybe this could become a serious relationship in the future. Now, at the moment, even though she and Aaron are boyfriend and girlfriend, she, she's not ready to think about marriage or anything like that. She is not ready to think about woohoo at this point. She is just not ready for anything that heavy. And she's got the, the want to make out, but I don't see it anywhere. So we're not going to be able to do that at this moment, which is absolutely fine. And how is Ty's homework coming? Ty is still doing his homework. Someone looks like they're watching TV, and it is Carissa Cruz and April Bennett. Now, um, I'm hoping that both of these girls have gotten over the fact that Ty has asked Ava Love to be his girlfriend. Course. And there go Carson and April again. And I think they make a it really cute so couple to together. Me. I really, really do. And are you finished with your homework yet, Ty? It takes forever to do homework, <laughs> it seems like. Or at least it, maybe it's just me who thinks that. But with that said, guys, it is time for me to end this part here. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you are enjoyed, enjoying the Legacy Challenge. And as I said, in the next part, the kids will be back home. If you are enjoying this challenge, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.